This is a demo of my template. It's pretty complicated, so I'm going to try to make it as clear as possible. I updated my template last year after Crystal came out with the Meaningful Use 2 updates. I had a bunch of fields that were linked to error fields, and I replaced them with the actual error fields on the tabs. I did that because the links don't always work, and I was concerned about mismatches between the data in my tabs and the data on the error fields. I also made several changes to improve the PDF record printouts. I have several buttons that serve double duty as labels. So I added labels under them because I found out buttons don't print on the PDF record, so you couldn't understand the records. I also top justified all the labels to their fields to keep them in the same row. Otherwise, they get all staggered on the page when the fields are long. I moved boxes around on the A and P tab to make fields print out better if they have a lot of data. Also, since buttons don't print in the PDF records, I changed the layout of the A and P tab. I moved the buttons to the bottom of the tab so they wouldn't give big holes in the printout. And I moved around some of the text boxes so they wouldn't overflow into other fields if they had a lot of data in them. Now I'm going to the refraction tab so I can show you how I color code the buttons. Medium gray buttons bring forward previous data. Red buttons clear data. Green buttons finalize the data. Purple buttons open crystal functions like the frames window or RX history window. And these blue buttons with the asterisk at the end import my Marco 5100 data and light gray buttons just perform functions. All right, so now we're going to enter some patient data. This button up here, transfer in, checks the transferred in and the med reconciliation completed boxes on the ERA tab. If they're adopted or don't know their family history, I check the family history unknown. The demographics button pulls forward the PCP information, which I put in the patient's miscellaneous two fields. The medical insurance is from Insurance 1, and VCP is from the Vision. It also brings forward their previous race, ethnicity, and language, because it typically doesn't change. I've created buttons here that fill out the most common combinations that I use. I can do Asian, non-Hispanic, Black, non-Hispanic, Latino, English, or Decline. Then the next button is Ocular History button. That pulls forward the previous ocular history checkboxes, any surgeries and injuries, this information here. Another thing that the ocular history button does is it pulls forward data on some other tabs, mainly the exam tab. It pulls forward a previous pachymetry with the date, pulls forward the check mark and the date from the last photo. And on the refraction tab, it carries forward the color vision and the date, the stereo and the date, and the PD because those are things that typically don't change. It also runs the demographics button. The next button is the medical history button. This is the one that I typically use because it brings forward the previous medical history and it runs the ocular history button which runs the demographics button. So that one is going to fill out everything. It fills in the previous history fields except the A1C level and pregnant and nursing last physical exam. It leaves the review of systems blank it fills in smoking status, alcohol, and previous height, and it fills in the vitamin supplements. I'm going to put some medications in here. Now the problem with these tables is that they're live tables. So now that I updated this information in here, if I go back and look at this patient's file from the last exam, it's going to list metformin and Lipitor in there instead of the medications that they were on. So I use these fields to hold the current medications and allergies. So I'd go through and confirm the data that's in here, enter the review of systems for today, and their mom has cancer, and I don't have to clear out these no's because the finalized buttons take care of that. I put in their history, I'll just copy this from before, and I can put in new symptoms, and when I'm all done, I can do finalized partial ROS, and that just finalizes all the data, fills in the blanks, and in the ROS summary, it lists the systems that had problems and it leaves everything blank. If I do finalize all, it changes it to accept as noted, ROS is negative, lists the, the problems that were in there and puts none in all of the others. So I use this ROS summary field in my reports and exam printouts so that I don't have to have a separate line for each one of those fields. 
hypertension was checked so it fills in hypertension yes and it looks at the smoking status if it says light heavy or current it enters yes and advised to quit these button functions are combined into the finalized buttons so I don't really use them but I wanted to have them on the tab in case I wanted to run them independently now I want to explain a few things about importing the med history from the online forms first I pull the visual complaints into the other signs and symptoms because we're supposed to do the chief complaint ourselves. Second, meds and allergies are put into the med summary and the allergy summary fields. So you'll need to put those into the medication table and the allergy tables before you finalize or this information will be written over. Also, sometimes they put things that I don't really want in the review of systems and that can mess up my buttons that automate my ROS summary. So I look for if they have good, none, n slash a, or na in any of those fields and I clear that out. And that's done by this clear ROS button, but it's run by all the finalized buttons. So you don't need to mess with this button here. So I'll show you how that works if I do finalize all. And you can see that it replaced the na and the n slash a with none. And it overwrote the med summary and the allergy summary with none because this medication list and allergy list is empty. So if you don't want that to happen, you need to remove those steps out of the finalize button. Or you need to make sure that you don't finalize until you put the medications and the allergies into here. And you can see that it checked no meds and no known allergies because there weren't any meds or allergies listed in here. So I think that wraps up the medical history.